Hi, everybody. I think it's working. I think I was on and then I got kicked off. So hopefully it's working. Yeah. All right. So hi, everybody. Welcome. Um, so I'm going to start over because I got we got a little kicked off there. Must have had an Internet issue. So anyways, uh, welcome. Thanks for coming today. Um, my name is Lisa. I'm the Domestic Abuse Program Coordinator at CASDA. I'm also a certified yoga and meditation teacher and um, work with a lot of trauma-informed yoga. So today we're going to keep it simple and short and sweet. Just some nice stretches for the shoulder, the neck, the arms, and the torso. Just opening up things a little bit. A lot of us are sitting at desks. A lot of us are doing a lot of this with phones and computers and laptops and iPads and all those things. So we tend to shrug our shoulders forward and kind of stay that way sometimes. So today we're gonna to open up some things. So remember like every class that I teach, I always ask you to just have an open mind. And when judgments come in on yourself or others, just kind of let those things go by. Don't attach yourself too much to that. Um, give yourself the next 15 minutes to just be in your body. And if that feels safe to you, um, on times when I ask you, um, you know, if you're comfortable closing your eyes, only do that if you're comfortable doing that. You can always have what's called a soft gaze, which is simply that you're looking at an object in front of you and you're not, you know, bug eyed out. You're just softly looking at it. And that's just another way to stay in that present moment and be conscious of where you are in this moment. So. Let's just begin by leaving all of our troubles and our worries and our problems just outside the door of the room that you're in or if you're in your car right now, just out in the parking lot, just kind of set all that stuff aside. Or like I also like to say, just allow your thinking mind to take a back seat. And every time your mind starts to wander off, which it will, that's very normal, Notice and come back to your breath. That's your anchor, your breath. Just notice your breath. And if you have to do that 10,000 times over the next 15 minutes, that's okay. That's why we call this a practice, okay? So let's just begin by sitting in a comfortable seat. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. All right, your hands can be placed in your lap and you can either be on the floor or in a chair. If you're in a chair, Make sure your both your feet are flat on the ground and that your legs are not crossed. If you're sitting on the floor, you can sit in easy pose like I am or any way that's most comfortable, but really reaching the crown of your head or the divine or the sky or God or whatever, whatever pleases you, whatever feels authentic to you. And then really making sure your sit bones are connected to the earth below. So both your buns are on the floor, okay, or the chair. All right, so let's just begin by orientating ourselves in the space that we're in, which simply means I just want you to look around at the space that you're in. As an example, the space that I am has a lot of color, a lot of textures, a lot of brightness and dullness and shapes. Just kind of take in your surroundings, just looking over to your right and your left. Really bringing yourself into this present moment. And then go ahead and cross your arms over your body. So you're grasping onto those opposite elbows. Draw your arms into the body. Just finding some grounding sensation here. Maybe giving your arms a little squeeze, a little love. If it feels good to just keep your arms across your chest, it's the very comforting pose for myself. So this might feel good to you, just giving yourself some love, some grounding. So we tend to be in our heads all the time, floating around space, right? So I'm just asking you now to just try to come out of your head, try to get out of that thinking mind and just come into your body if that feels safe to you. Maybe it feels good to move a little bit, a little bit of rocking or movement. Or 
And then just placing your left hand over your heart and your right hand over your solar plexus, which is right around your navel. If you're comfortable with it, you can allow your eyes to close in this moment. And as you inhale through your nose, allow your hands to rise as the belly rises. And then as you exhale through your nose, the belly falls, the navel comes toward the spine. Try that again. Inhale, maybe up to the count of four. And then four to one, then the exhale through the nose. So the belly rises and the belly falls. Staying with the breath. One more time, a nice deep inhalation. And a long extended exhalation. And then just releasing your attachment to the breath. I'd like you to take just a moment to set an intention just for yourself, just for the next few minutes that we have together. That can be many things, whatever it is to you maybe to be more flexible, maybe to be more conscious of the present moment, maybe just to try this for the first time, it might be brand new to you. Whatever the intention is, just see it very clearly in your mind's eye. Take a moment to incorporate your senses and see yourself or whatever your intention is. Maybe just to be more joyful today, more gracious, more forgiving, more peaceful. And then let go of the attachment of the attention, intention, release it. Let it go to the universe. A smile on your face and bring your hands into the heart space on Jolly Mudra. Take a nice deep inhale and come all the way up. So you're reaching your fingertips towards the sky. As you exhale, bring your left hand down to the earth, right arm up and over into a side angle. And let's make some nice big circles with that right arm. Really opening up the shoulder, the pecs. Notice if you've held the breath, if you have, allow the breath to flow. And then reverse the direction with your arms. And then inhale that right arm up to the center. Bring the left arm to follow, reach high, really lift your fingertips, really lift your ribs off of your waist. And then exhale, come forward. Your arms are straight out in front of you. Inhale, open up. Exhale, close. Inhale, open up to the center again, reaching up. Exhale, bring your right arm down to the earth, left arm up and over and begin to make some nice big circles. Really opening up that shoulder, those pectoral muscles, your rotator cuff. See if you can allow the movement to follow the breath. And then reverse the direction. And then inhale that left arm up to the center, right arm follows, inhale, reach, lifting your ribs off of your waist, really reach. And then exhale, come forward to the center, inhale, open up, exhale, close. Inhale, bring the hands back to Anjali Mudra and smile. All right, you can bring your hands down to your lap if that feels good. We're gonna take a nice deep inhale and as you exhale, just drop your chin down towards your chest. Wherever it falls is where it falls. And 
Inhale, send some breath through those shoulders, through the neck, for wherever you're feeling some tension in this. Now, on your next inhalation, let's inhale and bring your chin over to your left shoulder and then around. If this feels safe in your neck to make a circle, if this doesn't work for you with your neck, you can simply just go from your right shoulder to your left, just like a swinging pendulum. Or if it feels safe in your neck, you can make those circles. Maybe you'll get to a certain spot and you're like, ooh, yeah, that's a good spot. It's really tight there. Stay there for a moment. Stay there for a breath or two. You even want to place your hand where you're feeling the tension. Send some love, some comfort to that area. If you're making those circles, reverse the direction. And then we will all meet back with our chin towards our chest. Then we're going to inhale, bring your chin up to center. Exhale. And what we're going to do next is we're going to do 10 breaths. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale, bring our shoulders up towards our ears, and then exhale, drop them down. And don't do it too fast. I don't want you to hurt yourself but in more of a quicker fashion, okay? So we're gonna do that together, 10 breaths. I will count, I'll let you know when we're on the last one. So we're gonna to start together. Take an inhale up. Last one. Go ahead and allow your eyes to close. If you feel good with that, if that feels comfortable to you, I just want you to notice the effects that you're feeling physically from that breath. See if you can feel the blood rushing through your veins. You can feel the adrenaline going through your arms, your chest, maybe your whole body. This is the feeling of being alive. So smile, take it in, be great, gracious and be grateful that you are alive, that you're here today trying something new. And then when you feel ready, open your eyes. We're gonna inhale, bring our arms all the way up again. This time when we exhale, let's come forward with a flat back and then let's round our spine. So bring your hands down to wherever you find is your edge in yoga, which maybe your head touches the floor, and maybe it doesn't. No worries. If you're right here and your hands are on the floor, then that's where you are. So you're opening up the hips, the pelvis, and the low back. So let's take three cleansing breaths. We're gonna inhale through our nose, and exhale out of an open mouth. Let's do this together. A <sighs> couple more. <sighs> One more for good measure. And slowly walk yourself back to that easy pose, that seated position. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Again, smile. Send your brain all those juicy, good endorphins. And then we're going to inhale and bring our arms all the way up again. This time, let's exhale and bring our arms down to our sides. And then we're just gonna turn. So I want you to take your right hand and place it on your left knee, and then bring your left hand behind you into a twist. So you're looking over your left shoulder. 
Take some nice deep breaths here. So you're running your breath is kind of rolling up and down your spine. And then on your next exhalation, come back to center. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. And then this time, take your left hand on your right knee, your right hand behind you, and look over that right shoulder into your twist. So you're twisting at the waist. If you've twisted too far and you're feeling a little pain or a little nudge in your low back, Come out of it a little bit. You don't want to hurt yourself. You want the breath to be rolling up and down the spine. So in yoga, we want to move the spine six different directions. That is for a healthy spine. If you can do that every day, your life will change in many, many ways. One more inhale, and then as you exhale, come back to center. Nice and gentle movement. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Take a moment bringing the hands into the heart space. Thank you so much for joining me today for this short and sweet session of yoga and movement. I hope it helped you. I hope it brought a smile to your face. I hope it possibly brought something new to your life. I wish you a happy Friday, as we say at Hazda. And the definition of namaste simply means the highest potential in me loves and respects the highest potential in each of you. Namaste. Have a beautiful day, everyone, and I will see you next week. Peace.